Hello everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, how can I set the scene scale to export my statue for 3D printing in ZBrush? So I just finished my model here and I would like to export my model out at a very specific size in order to 3D print it. And for that we're going to use a feature called Scale Master. So we're going to go up to Z plugin where Scale Master is located and we're going to pick this icon here to dock it to the left hand side. Scale Master is a plugin that allows us to scale our model specifically to the exact size that we want in order to export for 3D print or other manufacturing purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is create a bounding box so that we can actually understand how tall, wide, and long our model is. So we're going to go ahead down here to New Bounding Box and we're going to click that button one time and that's going to create a bounding box of our exact model. So now we have our bounding box and let's go ahead and hit transparency mode so we could just see our model within the bounding box. And if we take a look, we could see that on all sides, it is the exact size for height, width, and depth that we need it to be. Now what we're going to do is actually figure out the scaling of this. So we're going to go on over to Scale Master and hit Set Scene Scale. We're going to now have some options in any unit that we would like to work in. For this demonstration, we're going to work in millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and select this option here, which is 41 by 86 by 54 millimeter. We click that. And now if we look over here on the slider side of the Scale Master, we can see that our units are set exactly to those measurements. So now let's just say that I want to actually increase the height of this model, and I want it to be exactly 200 millimeters. So at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Y axis for the height, and I'm going to type in 200 and hit enter. That's going to make sure that that's selecting the 200 millimeters we have. Now all I'm going to do with all selected, which is default, is click resize subtool. Now if we take a look, we could see here that our model has resized to the specific dimensions we've given. If at any point we would like to come back and change this measurement, all we would have to do is, again, select our bounding box and go ahead and adjust this measurement, let's say 150 tall now, and just go ahead and hit resize subtool one more time. And now we can see here that our entire model had rescaled to the 150 tall as requested. Now I'd like to go ahead and export my model. So all I have to do is come straight down to this bottom process here, select the option of unit I would like to export it out, go ahead and click all for all subtools, and select export to unit scale. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And now it's going to give me the option to go ahead and save my subtool. So I'm going to go ahead and name this and hit enter. And as you can see, it went ahead and exported everything out. So now I can move that to the next process. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!